Hybrid Raceway. He's been coming here for more than 20 years, and for the first time, I can tell you, here comes the champ. Doug Coletta finally locked down the world championship last year that eluded him for so many years, and he comes rolling in here with a number one on the wing as he is going to go head-to-head -head with Terry Totten as they fire the next pair. Terry Totten racing for ALF Company, Redline Oil, out of Nebraska, and Doug Coletta, a uh, substantially stronger burnout there out of the Seal Master Machine. Terry Totten and his guys, they make no bones about it. They're not coming in here trying to set the track record. They're not coming in here trying to set low ET. They're going to come up here and send the car down the racetrack. Doug Coletta qualified at 369. If he runs 369, he wins the race, no doubt about it. But what Terry Totten is thinking is that Doug Coletta comes up here and makes a mistake, leaves the door open like Billy did, like Tony did, like Brittany did, that he can win the race just by making a nice, smooth run down the racetrack. That's kind of their motor operandi. Coletta, working with the folks at Toyota, Gazoo Racing, Rev Chem Composites, Steel Master Force, Mac Tools, Fly Technologies, he's got the number one on the wing after so many years of trying. Out of the number three qualifying spot, Doug Coletta looking for the round. Terry Totten was looking for the upset, but he didn't get it. I got to tell you, Doug Coletta was vulnerable. A 399 at only 247 miles an hour. He saw the Sealmaster car. The pipes went silent, went quiet, went dark long before the finish line. Terry Totten goes 397, but the telling tale is the reaction time. I'm not sure what happened to Terry on the starting line, if he flinched or if he blinked or if he got distracted, but Doug Coletta was there for the taking, and Terry Totten could not take advantage. The champ gets away with one in round number one, 399 for the win. This has been kind of wild so far, hasn't it?